Tuesday morning. Priority this morning is we currently have a way to OAuth for the Slack, which is good. We're getting back a response. We're getting back an access token. We want to save those. We're going to have to create some new Prisma models. So what we're going to need to do is create a new Slack model, which runs inside our connection model in the back end. That's going to allow us to save the data. And then from there, the user is going to be able to feed that back into their profile on their dashboard inside sub. So yes, sounds a little bit all over the place, but it's actually very nicely organized. That shouldn't be too hard. I'll walk you guys through that as well later on. But once we get that done, that's really cool because we can start pulling like channels and like workspace permissions from Slack. It's a nice day today. This is actually like New Zealand or all of a sudden. I haven't felt New York like this yet, so it's really nice. Oh, that is so busy. Should we, we'll go to a different one. So yeah, that's the plan. And uh, I think that shouldn't be too hard to get all done. All right, let's keep going. Something that we do need to sort out shortly is payroll because I just need to get paid somehow. There's services that can do it, especially when like, oh, I can't say where we're going yet. No one knows where we're going yet. There are places that can handle it in that region. So that'll be fine. Yeah, they're going to take an extra percent on every payment. That's the only thing. So it's like you got to manage your cash flow somehow. What's really good though is we've got angels who are like putting in extra checks though. So we are actually raising more, which is good. Um, more details on that to come later, but also Yanny. I love Laurel's Cafe. All right, we got a we got a Dev Club member in town. I'm gonna see if he wants to come to the Flatiron office today. He said he's just here on a side quest. So uh, shout out Conrad, here in the Dev Club. That's the kind of perks you get. Not only do you get all the devs, all the conversation, all everything that you would ever want and dream for in a Discord server for devs, but also come and hang out with me. Come and hang out in New York. Let's go. Anyway, we are so late. This is like the latest we've ever gotten to the office. It's quarter to nine right now. What are we doing? All right, we're here. We made it. Look at this. Every time Parve's got me ready to go, that's the level you guys need to be at as well. Otherwise, you're not true fans, okay? So for the past few days, I actually had to disable anyone opting into integrating Discord into their server anymore. So I've actually had to like fully close it off, disable everything. Uh, so no one can actually onboard to anything for the last few days. But I had this like big paragraph explaining why. It's because the Discord team, super kind, they approved my bot, but then something went wrong in their like verification pending process. And my bot just got stuck in this like infinite verification state. So people would try and add it to their server and it would just fully error out. So I'm thankfully finally out of there. Shout out to Joseph over at uh, Discord support team who helped me out. Uh, we are now live, so I've just pushed that back to production. Everyone can now integrate with Discord and I've also given some time zones. Uh, I've actually given some dates, exact dates, on when you can expect Slack and WhatsApp integrations to go out, which in this case are two weeks from today, which will be around June 1st for Slack and around July 1st for WhatsApp. Most likely gonna do it all faster, but I'm just giving myself a little bit of time so that I don't have to like rush crazily through everything and I want to do everything really well so we give these creators just like the best experience possible when they onboard the communities so yeah discord is back live good news okay now we can actually finish up our slack integration let's go cool. ah, the taste of nectar coffee in the morning so good anyway update for you guys slack it's looking good we just created a new Slack record, which is a Slack connection, DTO. Uh, it's a new model, which is then gonna connect to our connection, which is really cool, because that means that when we load our page to edit, then it's gonna pull in that new Slack connection alongside Dev Club's going off, I can't even concentrate. You guys need to join, but anyway, long story short, Slack is almost ready to go as far as actually connecting into your sub. So that's really cool. The next step is going to be actually assigning specific channels or whether you want to monetize literally the whole entire Slack workspace into one sub. Uh, so I'm just going to have to figure out some logic there. As far as this compared to the WhatsApp integration though, much easier. Like they've actually got dedicated APIs. Slack actually cares about developers out there, uh, which is cool. Otherwise, Got the superpower liquids in place today. Look at that, coffee and water, I'm doubling up. Also, just had a really cool call with someone who manages lots of like communities. She is like a strategist. She used to be in tech. She's a product manager background, works with lots of like communities and such. Um, and so she recommends solutions like Circle or Slack or Discord or whatever based on their specific use case. So it's like a really cool connection. But then also got some like alpha on stuff that would 
be like critical for someone like her going into Slack or anything like that. So yeah, definitely very exciting, especially around the like events space, which is funny because this is another thing that a lot of other people have been saying uh, on calls over the last couple of weeks. So yes, a lot of good alpha. I now currently have this like notion doc that is one page. I kid you not with names and just like bullet points of stuff that they mentioned. So yeah, anyway, good alpha. We've had a good call today. Slack's doing well as far as connection and code. We launched a new video today, which is also hitting number three out of 10 on the YouTube. Yeah, crushing, crushing as usual. I feel like we've got this like new, <laughs> oh, we got a hate comment. This is awesome. Why are so many tech videos about beta tech bros eating? I couldn't give a fark, F-A-R-K, what you're having for lunch, mate. Host is blowing up, 450 reactions, lol, Jesus. Well, shout out to you, mate. I hope you have a fantastic day and you have now been blocked. See ya. <laughs> All right, it's been back-to-back -back meetings, uh, and now I've just completely onboarded a new creator who's going live with their private community on Discord tomorrow uh, at 10 in the morning. And they actually have some custom features last minute that I need to implement, that being a way to set a 12-month free trial, but it's only visible to certain people. And the way I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to do that is by using like a custom URL link that they can get from their dashboard. So yeah, gotta figure out how I can do that. I think the easiest way around that is just gonna be adding simply a Boolean column to the Prisma model inside the subscription model. That'll mean that when you create a new subscription, by default, it is set to true, being active, is active, something like that. Then you'll see all your subscriptions on your live sub page. And if it's set to false, there will be a way that you can actually click that link, copy that link, and paste it somewhere, and it's only going to render that one price for someone to purchase through your sub. This is a really good use case, for example, for his use case, where he's got people that have bought a piece of tech or a course in the past, and he wants to give these people instant access to that community without making them pay for anything again. But at the end of a 12-month period, he wants that to start charging them again because that was all they paid for. So yes, slightly specific use case, but I can also see how it actually be quite valuable in certain cases where you wanna give some people a special price or a discount or certain perks and such without giving everyone else. So that's what I'm working on right now. He needs that by tomorrow. I've got another meeting in five minutes. I've got some more angel safes to generate and send out. We've got a Slack integration going live in two weeks. I've already sent the email out. We're almost there anyway, so we're looking pretty good. But I think I need to get my headspace right, which means I need to go for a run this afternoon we're feeling good i saw in the latest video that i just put out as well that a lot of you were like hey dude you look tired like take a break it's all good i'm good like i'm actually sweet the last three months if it's taught me anything it's taught me how to like manage my stress and my emotions and how tired i feel um and i'm actually feeling pretty good like i'm sleeping pretty well eating really well exercising really well feeling like i'm working lots and i'm drinking way more water as well so that's good so yeah i'm good don't worry about me maddie's doing good too maddie's actually in charge of all the comms and social media right now so she's actually in my emails in my linkedin she's doing spreadsheets of all the people that have contacted me all sorts of stuff we're going nuts and sub is going to the moon in 2024 and 2025 100 percent anyway i'm gonna jump into this call we're gonna finish up this code for the day and see if we can get this feature done it's gonna involve a little bit of front end a little bit of back end but hopefully nothing too crazy it will involve also mm, that's another thing to think about when someone renders this custom link we only want to show that one pricing subscription mm. yeah okay we're good we'll be absolutely sweet <sighs> all right let's get to it A day quarter to six just got off this fascinating call with someone who is in the kind of like 35 to 55 women in facebook groups demographic super super interesting because obviously with facebook group a lot of them are kind of dying now since like who the heck uses facebook groups anymore and especially like this lady coming from being like an admin on some of these groups she's noticing that the reach is bad that the communication is bad you don't own the data there's almost no way to even like integrate third-party apps either because facebook just removed those earlier this year what is the opportunity with like paid slack or something like that that could just like solve their problems for building paid community for her it was a case of hey is there actually a way that i could just become a thought leader in the space for sub like i can teach people how to build these communities for themselves because for a lot of those people that she's working with they want to have their own paid communities as well and she's looked at school she's looked at like other platforms and it just hasn't been quite perfectly right for the use cases 
And so it's like, hey, maybe she comes in, becomes the first kind of thought leader teaching and growing people's subs. Like, I don't know, I thought it was just such a cool concept that I hadn't really thought of because I've been so deep in like the dev work and talking with angels and doing all the kind of stuff you do as a founder and customer interviews and such. But yeah, it's a fascinating thought to think that we're building yet again another like sub micro economy for people to teach other people how to create subs and like build their communities and they can charge and earn a living from that so oh but also one more thing that i forgot to mention there's something that i thought of a month or so ago that is just such an amazing aha moment for creators and community hosts coming onto the sub platform sub platform not really a platform is it we're integrating other platforms but me being their first subscriber when they sign up and they integrate and they do everything on sub i go in i test the integration for them but they get this feeling where instantly they get like a payment notification x number of dollars has just come in this person just joined your community also they get to see that the integration actually works and that instantly i'm inside their discord or their slack or their whatsapp whatever it is it's feeling where they're like oh my gosh this actually worked and i think the more people that i can do that to like and give this one-on-one -on -one, i don't know this aha moment that's almost irreplaceable. I think that I can kind of like win people over one by one by one by one. So anyway, super cool. I was onboarding someone today, someone that I'm working one-on-one -on -one with. I did that exact thing. We went through the process. We had his entire Discord set up. It was all beautiful. The roles, permissions, all integrated with pricing. And then I went in, did the purchase. Apple paid it. He instantly got an email. I got the email that jumped me into the Discord and boom, I was in. He's just had that aha moment. So it's pretty cool. Like, camera, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, soft man, who are you talking to? Uh, yep, myself. It's been great chatting. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, shout out for still being here if you are. I know these videos have been getting longer, but also that's what you've been asking for. So we're doing them. All right, I'm going to go buy a bottle of wine and then go see Maddie and Hermie. And then we're going to finish off the day relaxing. All right, let's head out. Yeah, that sounds good. That's what we need. <laughs> awesome, just that one there. Sounds good.